Hello, I'm Greg, and it's time for a uh, Dizzy Take. <laughs> uh, got an invitation to, to hang out with some YTPC folks tonight. Uh, it was a great time. We had a great time. Um, Jody and Andy Garner. Um, I'm going to put their link to their channel in the description below. So check them out. Um, uh, yeah, we got together. They supported me around their, their area, and, and man, them guys are totally aware of their surroundings uh and uh just really great people to be around that's for sure a lot of you guys were able to meet them at the ohio pipe show last year and hopefully they'll be back there maybe who knows um I, jody has some family in uh, ohio so maybe i have occasion to head back that way and uh, during one of the pipe shows that that's uh, at that time but anyway uh yeah you guys enjoy the video you'll have a good night bye there you go. Hey, look what we found. <laughs> we found Greg Tunnel in Marshallburg. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Jody and Andy. Yeah. Good seeing these folks. They're taking me on a grand tour of Marshburg and the uh, Core Sound region, I guess, is a good way of putting it, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah. We're going to take him around and then take him back home and make him eat a steak. Oh, a steak the, or two. The pain's the pain. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. 
Where? Up. On the left, you said? Uh, up here on the yep. left, just past these houses. All over the school. She's a true shrimp fisherman. Turn me around here. Okay. That's, uh, that's the real deal right there. All these are trawlers for shrimp. Yep. Yeah, I got you. They furnish all the restaurants around here. Gotcha, cool. And then and this the new bridge. Yeah, it's a new Back bridge home. that just opened up a couple months ago and replaced the drawbridge. Um, so now they don't, you know, they're, they're still tearing it down. That's why the cranes are still here. They're still tearing down the old bridge. If you look off to the right, that very point on the left hand side is Marshall Bird. The little island in the middle is called Bachelor Island. And then the island on the right is Brown's Island. Boat oars and 
to get for it. me to pull up. <laughs> oh, golly. Come out, lost my boots, lost everything. <laughs> you lost it flash before your eyes. This house over here on the right, the lifted house, they get out the water in the front of their house and they've got their own shrimp trawlers in their backyard. Oh, it's not true. How, how, how they do that illegally to dredge like they, that? Well, they, they, have do, to. they use their own money too once they oh, get the dredge smokes. permit. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Jeez. So, you know, what an expense. Over here, is, this house just sold. Um, it's a fixer upper, so they just bought it yeah. to fix this one up. Um, there's one coming up here. Oh, we already passed Chris Willis' house, didn't we? Yes, sir. He's right here. There's some other ones, and they, they just, you can tell that they've been neglected and empty, and they sit empty. This is, this is this one, one is bit, empty here, yeah. that, and that, that one looks fantastic. Yeah, right, good for an empty house, but, you know, people, people. Just here on the right-hand side, right, just past this big okay, tree. Okay, gotcha. Right here, that's a perfect example yeah. of what happened with Florence. Yeah. This one's obviously been re redone on the right. Um, there's that one on the right where you can see the clothes hanging. The oh, house, if you look over to the right, way over to the right, there's a house and you can see the clothes still hanging through the walls. Oh gosh, where, where the wind blew it so hard. And it's just, it's been that way for the last, I mean, since Florence. It's been I wide open and nobody's done anything with it. In 2006, I moved to Denver. Uh, Got a little job off right there, and uh, yeah, the hurricanes just just were killing me in my business. I mean, yeah, yeah it, was, it was constant hurricanes, and uh, it was it was not good. Yogi Store has been in business for years and years, and they provide <laughs> beer and chips and bread and milk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They just lifted this house here. That was a that's a total redo. This is what all, all of our land looked like when we bought it. It was all thick yeah. like that, and we've been working to clear it okay, slowly. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. But the best part of this video is, is if you look to your right on this driveway, hold on now, who in the world's truck is that right down there, son? That looks like Y'all see that truck? That's an orange truck for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them, Andy. Tell them, Jody. Truck. Come on, help me out now. Hey, that's, that's Greg's that, truck, and it's time. <laughs> For a tunnel tape. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's time for another tunnel tape. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, Andy's sporting it proud. Sporting yeah, it proud. Then cool. There's a boy. We got tunnel tape back oh, right here on the sliders and the holes. So another hobby when we're not fishing is we make soap. So this is cool. all natural ingredients. And um, this is these are the these, these are, are the oils. aromas that yeah, you use. Yeah, are different okay, aromas gotcha. that we use. Cool. And then I also make from tallow. I make face cream, hand cream, lotion, okay. and that's all natural, just from beef tallow. Gotcha. Okay. Ha, neat. This is. Um, this is the soap that we just made because it has to cure for four weeks. Yeah. Uh, this is um, the soap that we're curing right now. And this has to cure for four weeks. Gosh, that's this good is, to eat. <laughs> this is a tobacco smell. Oh, gosh. Smell vision, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> and then you can smell this is, this is tallow soap here. That's really? Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's, it's tallow and coconut oil. It's okay. got a couple different other oils in it as well, but this yeah. is the man soap. Gotcha. <laughs> and that does, that has to sit for four weeks. Just to get hardened? Just okay. to harden up. Right. And we use a natural lye gotcha. and all of that. But that's something cool. that we do. I'm going to try to start making candles. And I make jerky. Oh, yeah. We're making, we've got jerky in the dehydrator back okay, there. Okay, right. that's what I'm here to run. <laughs> All right, Andy and Jody got the grill going. How y'all doing? All right, uh huh. <laughs> Turn you around here. So what you smoking, Andy? I've got some Rimbaud. 
and I got at the Ohio Pipe Show. Uh, yeah, Mark Ryan Beans came up to me and said, "Man, do you like Parik?" And I said, "Yeah," and walked over there with Brian and got a bag of it, and I've smoked cool. it ever since. I'm gonna get up into some uh, Royal Twist Deluxe. Royal Twist Deluxe. Let me show you this thing here. And there you go. And it just gave me this. Let's try it out one time. Mm. Fill her up. So what? What is that? Is that is that English or what? It's Virginia with a lot of Perique in it, and it's a kind of dry tobacco. Okay. It comes in a vacuum seal bag. What genre would that be if it's not English? Uh, I guess a vapor, because I don't. And vapor, I okay. Yeah, I would think so. Virginia and, and Perique. But I'm not sure. I guess that, yeah, that's, 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 that, would I'm be not a, that would be a vapor. Sure. Yeah, okay, all right. right yeah. The best thing I like about it out here <laughs> <I don't do laughs> <vapors. laughs> is with this wind. Uh, it's real, it's on the drier side. It catches up quick. It's easy to smoke when I'm busy and okay, stuff like that. Okay, I got you. Right, yeah. But see, that's them kind of coins I was talking about. Yeah, look at this, look at this folks. Isn't that pretty? That's good oh, stuff. Of coins. That is good stuff. I'm gonna check this grill right quick. Now, do you rub it out, or do you just are you a folding stuffer? I'm a folding stuffer. Really? Okay. Yeah. Do, do, do you break it up in it all? I kind of roll it just like you like, are. Okay, push gotcha. it down to the bottom. Okay. That's some good tobacco. All right. Now, do do you pack it deep in the bottom? Do you pack it a little bit harder than you do you would? I just feel it solid all the way up to the top. Okay. Or a little bit below, you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm not much of a I showed Greg, coin guy. Y'all, I showed Greg what can happen when you fill them things up too high on some of my pipes <laughs> in the room a while ago. <laughs> they'll take a beating. <laughs> yeah, let's get chilly out here at some point. Now. Yeah. And you showed me what what a torch lighter will do to a uh, yep. to a rim of a uh, yep. of a uh, of a pipe <laughs> when you're on a boat yep. and, and you're not paying attention what yep. you're doing. Put his reading glasses on. Y'all, what Jody just said is totally true. I try to hang these glasses, and Greg's being here this afternoon. I bet I've told him a hundred times. Greg, let me grab my glasses. Let me grab my glasses. <laughs> And if I've been to go light this pipe and not have my glasses and don't can't tell my distance, and I'll burn the fire out of the pipe. <laughs> well, that smells good. Oh, it's great. That You're getting yeah. a face full of it, it aren't smell, you? It really smells good. Yeah, that's good. It's real mellow. Is this a vapor harsh. or something? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is really good. I got, I got some wind. Hey, Gray. Oh, you got it? Mm hmm. There for a little while, Andy was smoking cigars while we were on the boat. Let mm -hmm. me tell you, they stink compared to the pipe smoke. I wonder why that is. They just, I mean, the pipe, I haven't, I haven't been able to find a find a, a cigar that that, that tastes smell, like a yeah a, a pipe tobacco. But he would, I could always tell the difference. I'd have to be upwind if he's smoking a cigar with a pipe smoke. I I enjoy. I don't know if you saw, we've got a uh, osprey up in the tree. There's yep. a pair that comes back every year. They lost their nest. It was in this tree out here. Okay. And there was a storm that came through and blew the top of that dead tree off mm -hmm. with their nest after the babies were gone. But this will be the uh -huh. third year in a row the mated pair comes back, and they're going to start building a nest in one of the two trees now. Right. Yeah. And they'll lay their eggs and be here throughout the whole summer. Let me show you what we're looking at. If, if it doesn't jump and run on me. The osprey is. And this is the tree that the nest used to be in right here, the big one. Oh, and you see okay, that? Okay, gotcha, I see. You can see that osprey out there now, the mama. 
Yeah. Pair, uh, where the other half is right now. Yeah. And she sits on the nest. Um, they take turns and they'll hunt. Okay. And one of them will be sitting on the nest, and the other one will bring in food. They yeah. bring in a fish from the sound, and okay. they eat it right there in the nest and feed the babies. I mean, we've seen them bring in one and a half, two pound flounder mm -hmm. and part in the trees. Right there. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And we've got our own National Geographic show. We, had, um, we used to have foxes run through. This is a wild persimmon tree here. Yeah. Um, and the foxes, red and gray foxes, would come through the yard, and you can hear them out in the yard crunching on the persimmons and the seeds. Oh, really? Yeah. But since there's been so much development around lately, the foxes are gone. We haven't really? seen them in a year. Gray but foxes, I assume, right? Gray yeah. and red. Really? Mm -hmm. Huh. The uh, persimmons, when they start falling in the latter part of the summer, I'll go out daily and I'll gather them and I cook them down and I, I create a mash and get the skins and the seed out. Because have you ever eaten a wild I've persimmon? Never, yeah, pretty bitter. They'll numb your mouth. Oh, yeah. They're, they're <laughs> terrible. What do you do with them? You I eat make, them? Uh -huh, I make bread. I make bread out of them. I've uh, never seen anybody do anything with things. Make bread and make pudding, uh, persimmon pudding. How, how, do you, how, do you, how do you get rid of the... Uh, you cook them the down. Offensive, the offensive yeah, the, the tan, they're, they're high in tannins. Okay. Um, and that's what makes them so bitter. Um, but I cook them down, and I take the skin and the seeds out, and then I create a mash that I put through a sieve and okay. and then have a mash, and I put it in two-cup increments and freeze it in the freezer. So we've got about 12 bags in the freezer, and it will make 24 loaves of bread. Oh, that, So okay. that will be enough until – we start getting more persimmons for next year. So right. Next next visit, I'm gonna have to make you some persimmon bread. I persimmon bread. It, it tastes like you'll a pumpkin, love it, Greg. Okay. Like a pumpkin molasses. Do you have bread. to? Do you have to add a lot of sugar to it or anything? Does it it's need? What does it need? It's kind of like a banana bread, but with okay. a molasses pumpkin type. Okay. If you go to it. Okay. Gotcha. I see. So yeah, I, yeah. It doesn't have a lot of sugar. Um, it's see. it's just good. You melt some butter on it. Oh. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you know, anything you put enough butter on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. But we've got a possum that, that comes up on a regular basis. Yeah, okay. And he'll come right on the, the bottom of the porch here. Okay. We're up about 42 inches here. Um, the water has come up to the driveway. Yeah. The bottom of the walkway. So, I mean, and that's coming right from the sound. Um, that okay. happens about about once a year. So having a garden around here is just we've got out. a raised bed in the back, and okay. it's yeah, it, and it's kind of on, on top of the septic bed. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Plenty of fertilizer and yeah, and high enough to stay out of salt water. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. honestly, it's difficult to grow anything because yeah, the salt water will come through. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Greg, I want to share something with you. Go ahead. So. I told you I'm real big on telling you when I mess up. So, <laughs> the grill's going, fixing to clean the grapes. And me and Jody grill out how many times a week? Gosh, Four times a week. <laughs> yeah. And I took my old uh, grill brush. Yeah. And I brushed them grapes off real good. Had them, had them looking magnificent. And me and Jody got our ribs in there and I took a bite. And I had something in the roof of my mouth and on my tooth. And I looked and I didn't say nothing. I said, That's a piece of a daggone brush. Oh, and then Jody said, I've had it oh, before. Something here, ain't. There was pieces of wire brush uh, throughout that whole minute. That, 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 was, a, that was a plastic uh, brush that you used it. with the stainless steel. Pieces and those little stainless steel hairs uh -huh, come out in there. Mm -hmm. So, you too. <laughs> I've had that before. Sure. Now, I take this aluminum pole and ball it up okay. and rub it, and it will. With no up. wires left on the grid. No <laughs> wires. Oh, uh -huh, yep. I've had that before. My, it happened with me one time. The grill was hot, and I went to brush the grill off, and 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 it started melting the uh, the plastic holder for the brushes. The brushes yeah, came out, yeah, and, and and a few of them came out. And boy, I tell you, that's embarrassing. You <laughs> somebody a burger, and they got a piece of wire in their mouth. Man, that happened too. Yeah, 
Andy went to YouTube, so we've got to find a better way to clean yeah. this grill. <laughs> yeah. So the uh, so the uh, the uh, stem foil works fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> You don't have a Costco down here. You guys don't have a Costco close to you either. Do you? Raleigh, Raleigh, I guess, is the closest place. Okay. You are right in my smoke. It, it smells good. You like it? Yeah, it really does. Why well, do you like it? If it didn't smell good, I'd let you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we go. We have to go to Wilmington to go to Costco. Really? Okay. Or Sam's is in Jacksonville. Jacksonville is about an hour and a half drive for okay, us. Right. And Wilmington is just over two hours. Okay. Two and a half hours. Gotcha. So our, our weekly trek to the store is about a 40 minute drive to go to Morehead. Um, 30 to 40 minutes. Um, yeah. Walmart's over there. And then we've got a couple different food lions one in Atlantic Beach, one in Beaufort. We've got a Harris Teeter over there in Moorhead. But nothing out this way. We've got yogis. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now I take that back. We got Dollar General's down here. Yeah, got Dollar General. Got one at least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got Dollar General's. We got Billy's over there on Parker's Island. They, yeah. Okay. They um they've got everything. They've got food on one side. They've got a fantastic meat counter, and then hardware and boat supplies on the other side. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Fayetteville is, is how far Fayetteville, yeah how far is Fayetteville from here y'all y'all um, never have the reason to go to Fayetteville that's that's, that's right far out there that yeah that's probably about probably about an hour Jacksonville's about an hour and a half about an hour and a half I would think to Fayetteville really okay because right. you'd have to go down to Jacksonville and cut over right to get yeah, to, to get, get over to to I ninety five yeah right yeah cut over Dr. babe how long is Fayette, how far is Fayetteville from here about an hour hour and a half about an hour and a half two hours. Yeah, I'll try to put a map at this point in the video, somehow showing you about where we're at and all. You know, so you guys can kind of piece this stuff together a little bit in your mind where uh, Jody and Andy are. We're about as far east as you can get on the North Carolina coast. That's pretty much it, isn't it? Yeah, that's Aside right. Aside from being on the Outer Banks, because we're right off off against the. Uh, there's an island out there that that started making a new island. Out on the Outer Banks, isn't it? I don't yeah. know. Oh, what, what was that? that? Yeah. What, what was mm -hmm. it called? Did, did, did they ever name the island? Uh, Which is nothing but a sand. It is. Sandbar. Okay, I don't know. I'm not sure if they named it or not. Yeah, that one's up north. Oh, it's up north of here I a little ways? So. I think so. It's up okay. north. Isn't that north of Portsmouth Island? I think so. Mm. There's a, um, on the northern part, so the islands, our Outer Banks are called Four Banks. And on the okay. northern part is all of the, the, the pairs up there now. Yep. We've got both of them up there now. Yep. Oh. So the island up there is called Portsmouth Island. And it used to be, um, people used to live on that island. And they preserved it now as part of the national park system. So they, they're they're um, redoing all these houses. And they're hundreds of years old. So you go in and you walk through and look at all these houses. You can take it. Only you can only get there by ferry or by boat, right? Um, and and that's really a, a neat day trip if you're you know in the area and want to like that kind of thing. It, it's really neat. It's a great island to go collect seashells. It's neat. You can take a. There's a little town called Atlantic, and that's about okay. twenty miles, about twenty minutes north of us. Okay. And um, you can take a ferry right out of Atlantic and go over. There. So that's that's probably about the most fuller's east towner is it in north carolina atlantic would be you reckon um atlantic aside be? from okra coke and the outer Banks. okay well yeah i, I guess right yeah I, mean, I was just thinking about inner inner stuff yeah i think that um if you look at it it's kind of hard to look at though i mean we're we yeah i know it just swings out and <laughs> hatteras would be the hatteras would be the point yes. i assume right yeah yeah yeah. On the Outer Banks. Yeah, but right. On the inside, we're I think we're the most east on the inside. On the, of the Inner Banks. Yeah, yeah right. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. On the coastal mainland, mm -hmm. we're, we're the most east. I don't know how to tell the difference between the boys and the girls on the Osprey. They look the same. You know, I think they do don't they, anyway. Don't they? I mean, on cardinals and other birds, you can clearly tell a male from a female. Yeah. But on the osprey, I, I've never seen an osprey that looked different from one one to the other. So apparently they're all like 
but I, they haven't started building a nest yet, so I'm not sure which tree, unless they've decided on that tree, because this yeah. one doesn't have much of a base anymore. Yeah, and it's a little bit too low for a nest for them. Mm -hmm. I would think so. I mean, the tallest good branch that it has. But they make a ruckus in the summertime nonstop. Really? Mm -hmm. Do they screech like a, uh, a, a hawk or something, or what? You can kind of hear them. They're just like a, ooh. <laughs> Look, both of them are there now. Yeah. It's neat to sit out here and just watch them when they get when they have the babies, and then you can see the little baby heads coming up out of the nest. That's neat. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's an area that we go. We used to fish on a regular basis, and you could see there's otters, there's deer crossing the water. Uh, um, Andy's son Cody does deer hunting out on the out on the islands okay um there's a bald eagle out there okay big nest yeah neat i've never seen deer just swimming in the water <laughs> yeah right yeah. how you like your steak gray medium wheel got it i'm a medium wheel guy Tin roof. Oh no, I know you. I know y'all love it when it's raining here, don't you? We built this porch with Andy's seventy-six-year-old father in really? August. Greg, I thought really? I was going to die <laughs> with the heat. Yeah. And my dad, you know, we this ain't tunnel style because I suck <laughs> at rafters. Look at those <laughs> rafters. <laughs> If that ain't Mickey Mouse, Holy but God, I'll, I'll six by six. <laughs> See, I could never get the cut right to where it laid across the top. Oh, the, oh, okay, yeah, I see. Okay, uh, you see what I'm talking about? Yeah, the bird's mouth is called. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yes. The mathematical. Yeah, equation. it's just tough. <laughs> and I tried, and my dad would try, and then I'd say, "Let me try it one more time." And I put it up there; it wouldn't be right neither. So we cut them, and then no, there's, put there's, off. there's 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 really some easy way. I, I, I messed around with a, a guy that was a machinist one time. And um, and he, he knew a lot about a lot of things, but my dad would go there and say, say, well, I need this tile, and I need a tile to Y off of it at yay angle. Uh huh. And weld, it, weld this tile into that round, that round tile, into that round tile, and it has to be wired off at this particular angle. My dad is sitting there, you know, he was an engineer, state graduate engineer. He's doing this all the other on paper. And this guy gets off to the side and says, yeah, I know how to do this. Takes it, takes the tile, has it up on a table or a couple of sawhorses or something, the big tile. The little tile, he puts, puts over here over here on sawhorses and sits there, there and takes a flashlight and shines down the side of it. And the shadow, and he just marks out where the shadow was, <laughs> and he and he cuts it out with, with uh, <laughs> you know, you know. So there's all kinds of different yeah, ways. That's right. Because right. with that, with what you got going on right there, is you could have taken taken your one one uh, two by six two by six your your actual rafter, yeah. Not the not the beams going across, it's holding it up, uh, and the ridge board, uh, and and just sit it on the end of uh, the end of the six by six. Yeah. And have two people hold it on the end, and then, and and then make mark, a mark. Yeah. yeah, then make a mark. And see, I never thought that. And just you, and put an S on that one board, and use that as a sample, and you cut, cut a whole fleet of them. Yeah, yep. never thought about yeah. it. Yeah, I do know one thing. Lift. We had some old some scat. When you do them, you got to come up with all yes, yes. Stuff. And I, I, had me. Come, I had to come up with a million things. <laughs> we rented a scaffold to put up here, and Jody and Dad. We'd get on one end and I'd get on the other on these big main beams and we'd lift them by hand. And once I'd get that big that big beam up there, I, I when I got down, I felt like my whole body was spaghetti. Oh, Legs on it, Jody. So we got them up there. But it was it was horrible. In the summertime, you don't get any north winds, and the north comes from the front. Okay, yeah. And it was a hundred and five degrees. No, no wind. wind. Gosh. It was horrible. And Andy's dad was a trooper boy, 76 years old. And out here, wow. the three of us did all of this. It had an old, when we bought the place. Um, was the deck here at that time? It had, no. We, oh, so you all did it all, all at yes, the deck and the roof. It there. had a, a small, rinky dink kind of handicap ramp that went all the way around. So we had to tear that apart. That's actually where that walkway came from. Okay. And then the porch for the barn out back. Yeah. Um, 
we saved pieces of it to repurpose. But it, yeah, this there was nothing, <laughs> <laughs> no covering, no anything. And then I wanted to do a back porch that just goes straight across. Yeah. Um, but then the prices went up on the lumber and everything stalled for a while because mm -hmm. it would have cost us twice as much to do a back porch as it did for us to build this. And, and the it would same have been, size. It would have been it, half the size. Oh, half the size of the coast just much. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, gotcha. we were just going to do a long narrow along the back and then yeah. a fish cleaning station and all that in the back. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll wait. Maybe the prices will come down. <laughs> <laughs> or we'll start making our own wood. <laughs> and you can go see that bowl of tobacco already? Yes, sir. Go grab some more, one more piece of. Looking for we're gonna be ready. I'll get the grates ready. We shall return. <laughs> Not that ain't all mine. <laughs> yes, it is. Huh? Yes, it is. Oh, shucks. Look at that Maybe boys. You want a rib? Um, no, this will be plenty. Sure. No. Yeah. No, Smokes. Hmm. I know. made this morning, so that okay, I'll be that, getting. That beach pie. Yep. Covered in Cool Whip for yep. dessert. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Woo! No. Oh, my smokes. I good looking bunch of food, y'all. Mm. Yeah. All right. Let's cannonball in this stuff. I bought it. Lines for this. My yep. hand. Not and do you, you squeeze limes for this? I squeeze yep. limes for this. <laughs> Boy, that crust is hard, baby. Is it? It, yeah, exactly how you wanted it. Make sure you put them above the whipped cream on there. <laughs> <laughs> not got it out yet. Can we get mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. When you're done washing. Jeepers. Mm. How is it? It's good enough. Wonderful. And you knocked out a part. Wonderful. <laughs> a 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Awesome. All right, bye, y'all. Right. Hey, come on, Daddy. Come back, Greg. Thanks for a great time, y'all. Hey, we great. enjoyed you being here. All right, all right, bye now. All right, see you later. All right.